the studio! That seems to be the new tagline that kind of works. Um, if you're not subscribed to this channel, you will uh, notice that there's a new trailer up on the top to help you guys uh, kind of get a glimpse of what the station's about. And if you're interested, subscribe. And I managed to make it under a minute, which a lot of my subscribers will already know is really super difficult for me because I have a tendency of being long-windowed. I'm going to try to do this all in one take this time instead of I think the last time I did it in like 45 takes and I just gave up and went to work. <laughs> Alright, so the reason for this really quick vlog entry, and we'll see how quick it gets, is that uh, I want to give you kind of an interim between the second episode of Jasper and the last episode of the Jasper series. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is thank everybody who's supported the channel so far and thanks for subscribing and liking and sharing and commenting. All this stuff helps these videos get circulated out to other people's news feeds. And I'm also going to apologize real quick because I'm recording this and the ferrets are out before I have to go to work, so I might get distracted. <laughs> um, so again, thanks a lot for liking and sharing and commenting and sharing the stuff on Facebook. And if there's more stuff that you guys want to see, please, 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 please leave me comments in the in 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 below because I honestly I have literally spent the last four years throwing darts at a, like a board in the dark, and it turns out that it was a chalkboard, and I've been hit in the face, and it's it's just ridiculous, bro. Because I'm I'm trying so hard, and it's just been very frustrating. I've gotten burned out trying to create content that you guys would find engaging only to find um, a galaxy video that is just doing astronomical numbers compared to everything else on this channel. And I'm just like, why? The lighting is horrible. I didn't really explain anything. But apparently just because I was off the cuff on it because I knew that the visuals were bad, uh, it's more engaging. So I'm just going to stop trying to be very structured and very... This is a number two hard pencil, and this is a number four B pencil, and this will do this, and this will do that. Because A, I find it really, really tediously boring for me to do a play-by-play -play on what pencil I'm grabbing. Uh, I think if I do, I will just put like a materials list down in the descriptions because I don't want to spend my time trying to figure out what pencils I grabbed. Case in point, like this portrait with Jasper. Uh, let me look at my notes. There are 36 different colored pencils that I used of two different brands because I'm using Prisma colors and I'm using Rose Art pencils. That's not including the fact that I kind of went down to Blick Art Materials and went and got two Faber Castell pencils because I wanted to experience the true black and the true white, which, okay, really, they're not that great. Um, I mean, they are better, but I don't know that it was worth the hour and a half drive down there. So, I, I'm less time on materials because, guys, if you haven't figured this out, I'm not a huge proactive, you gotta buy the top of the brand, you can't do real art with anything you bought at Walmart. And by the way, Walmart's selling Prismacolors too. So while Prismacolors apparently took a dip in their production, and couldn't get their lead straight in their pencils, and everybody for like, I have no idea however long, bitch pissed and moaned about the quality of Prismacolor's pencils. Uh, the last, where are they? Where are they? They're in here. They're in here. I, it, it's, it's, it's a dark peach. Um, here's one. This is one that I'm using in the Jasper video, and it's a brand new Prismacolor. Prismacolor. And I like this pencil. It's it's nice. It's got a good feel. The lead hasn't been breaking, and I don't know what everybody's complaining about with Prismacolor. So, well, everybody's hating on Prismacolor. Get what? We're using Prismacolors anyway, because I can buy them at pretty much anywhere. So, uh, don't expect me to start chomping up the bit about Faber Castell and all these lucratively high expensive brands, because art that doesn't have to be expensive to do. This is ridiculous. So, um, less focus on how I'm doing. I'll still, you know, I've gotten some kickbacks from some people. Apparently that uh, Drawing 101 video with the dog and the breaking of it down, uh, it didn't do too bad. I was kind of expecting some more feedback on it. Um, I thought it was being a little patronizing, but uh, 
apparently some people are really, really liking it, so we'll try doing it again with maybe a different subject. Uh, I do want to give a shout out to my buddy Matt Hall because uh, in the last two months I really got frustrated and I almost gave up on this channel. Uh, numbers were flatlining, videos were flatlining, and again that only video that was taking off was that was doing anything was that, that uh, the Galaxy video. And I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong with my formula. I sat back, I watched a couple of videos on doing better movies and better use of your cameras and it started with editing because I am really horrible about editing and I'm really horrible and if you guys have watched the previous videos you'll know I'm really horrible about making sure that uh, my subjects are in frame and that I stay in frame and all that because I am my own camera person so when I get into my work I'm kind of like off of whoops I'm off camera you know, and I have to readjust the shot, and sometimes it's 20 minutes of work before I even notice that I'm off camera. Um, so I just want to get a shout out to anybody who's a creator or wants to film their own stuff. Uh, Cinefix, Rocket Jump, uh, Rocket Jump Film School, Shutterstock Tutorials, and This Guy Edits are all channels that I've been watching in the last like six weeks that have kind of helped me reframe uh, my sense of how to do this channel and how to do tutorials. And it's given me so much ammo to work with as far as how to redo these episodes uh, and, and make them more interesting for me as an editor because I find editing really, really, really super boring. And um, also as an artist and also watching it when I'm done, it, it keeps it more engaging and it's more in storytelling and less in narrative diatribing dialogue. But, but, but it's not interesting. It's not interesting to write it, it's not interesting to edit it, and it's not interesting to watch it. So uh, we're done with that format. We're just done. Um, uh, I have not done anything with my Patreon page. I have a Patreon page, but uh, when you have like 150 subscribers, there's really no point in really pushing the Patreon page because I have enough trouble just keeping content going between my YouTube channel and my Facebook page and then posting to Facebook because as some of you guys know I work like 50 plus hours a week at my regular job at the restaurant so me being able to post content on a regular basis is like trying to catch fireflies blindfolded you're really lucky if you get five minutes together in fact I'm expecting my phone to go off at some point point. and now we have the last note and that is back to the Jasper videos which if you've noticed the previous formats are all dick 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 it's really even beat and it's really boring and it kicks along and if you want to watch it if you can manage to get through the 45 minutes that is me actually drawing and doing smart work um, you'll, you may or may not learn something I'm not really sure I've been told that the videos go too fast that nobody has any idea what the hell is going on um, even though I'm trying to be about as descriptive as I possibly could be um, in those videos. Uh, so uh, I, I really got very frustrated and just utterly stopped. That's why you guys haven't gotten a lot of content. That's why you guys are getting more vlogs and you're getting tutorials. Uh, because I don't understand what I'm possibly doing wrong. So another shout out to my buddy Matt Hall for when I was doing the Tuesdays with Tommy, which I'm going to go back to doing. Uh, because... Matt had said something really, really important that was really, really, I think, a huge help that you guys actually want to see. Again, feedback would be great. Uh, if you guys are interested in seeing more of, like, live shots and re less of the reference pictures. I mean, I, I did a lot of pieces and a lot of videos that were just, this is the reference picture and this is what I'm matching up and it just... Okay, well, it's almost like copying a picture and instructions on copying a picture. Well, there are some technical differences in there. Um, but, yeah, it's like a 45-minute video watching somebody photocopy something, I guess. I don't know. Um, so, we're, the new format is going to be with me having a little bit more fun. It might not be as step-by-step -step educational, um, but I've, I've not been enjoying doing the format the way that it has been. I'm not enjoying editing the format the way it is. Uh, I think I want to use uh, my art in my videos more as a MacGuffin and less as the actual focus and then just have more fun like having fun doing this. I mean it, it, arts are not supposed to be boring. I've never really had so much pain in 
agony doing art as I have trying to film these videos being stuck in the studio, <laughs> you know. Um, I like going out and uh, having these adventures in the zoo, like, y you know, the the pee pee flinging buffalo, which is a story that nobody knows except that uh, everybody that I go to work with uh, thinks it's great because then uh, a friend of mine who was severely depressed one day and I got her to go out with me um, said, well, how do you get the buffalo to come over there? And I said, well, you gotta speak the buffalo's native language, which means you gotta go <laughs> And she thought it was funny, but the buffalo came over because otherwise people go, Mr. Buffalo! Mr. Buffalo! Or I have a little kid there that's like, Buffalo, 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 Buffalo. I don't know how many times that kid said Buffalo while I was sitting there enjoying my Buffalo burger, which was really funny. Thank you to the Brookfield Zoo for doing that because it's the best day ever. Best way to eat a Buffalo burger right next to a Buffalo. Your cousin tastes delicious. <laughs> And this kid is sitting on the rails. Buffalo, 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 buffalo. Kid, 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 kid. Just gonna go now. Just gonna go. So, yeah, I mean, little moments like that, which are really great. It's like um, in the Bay Beach thing, in the Bay Beach, when we went to Bay Beach, and I kept the cut in there when I was walking across the bridge and I was filming the ducks and I was kind of showing you, you know, you get all these ducks and this is the photography that comes out of the ducks and all of a sudden I hear a duck call <laughs> and I'm like, who brings a duck call to a duck reserve? What? what? And then I turn around and there's this kid right next to a goose like Aah! Aah! and the duck's like, really? You got something? I told you my phone was gonna go off. Um, and, but the kid was like, you know, and the duck's like, corn? Do you get corn? Hi, corn? Hi, do you have corn? Hey, corn? Hey, do you have corn? 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 Corn, corn, corn. And then when the kid had no corn, the goose was like, I'm out of here. He's crazy. <laughs> and I'm standing there like, what? What the hell was that? And, and then the kid comes up to me and says, Goose Army, don't worry, I'm with you. And I was, well, it was all captured on camera. And I was just like, I could, but I can't. That's just, how random is that? And now I've got people that I work with that want a t-shirt. This is Goose Army, I'm with you. <laughs> so, I mean, I think I'm just going to have more fun if we focus less on how to do stuff and more on just what goes into it. Because going what... It's engaging and it's therapeutic and I'm off in my own little world, but let's face it, it's boring as fuck. Um, so, um, <clears throat> so there's that. Uh, so that's, if you haven't picked that up from the last two uh, videos with Jasper, that's where we're going with it. Um, it's a whole new format, it's more cinematic, it's more focused on storytelling, less on the how-to. Uh, and, and I hope to have a lot more fun with it. In regards to the third episode for Jasper, um, I can't even show you a preview of how far I got. Because Jasper's owner's watching. So, hi Cheyenne! Um, which has also been, Cheyenne's been a really great advocate for my channel, so thanks again for Matt and Cheyenne for like sharing all the videos. And, and helping to get some traffic on the channel and thanks for the feedback because it's really helped. Uh, it feels good that I'm not just kind of sitting here spinning my tires and wasting my time. Um, but I can't even post an update on the new video. Here I'll show you a, the pencils. I have pencils. This one is warm gray. I have a, a dark peach and French gray too. Uh, that's as much of a Spoilers you get for the third episode, because French gray. Prismacolor is really not that bad. Um, so we're going to wrap up the whole thing with Cheyenne and Jasper's story. Uh, I'm hoping to get one more interview in on this. And by the way, in case nobody kind of picked it up, uh, the person, there's two people talking. One is me, and the other one is Jasper's owner, Cheyenne. So yes, that is actually an interview, and... 
I didn't think I had to point that out, but somebody actually came forward and asked me in person if that was Cheyenne's owner. And I was like, no, I'm, I'm really narr I'm narrating it myself. This is me just... I, I'm reading dialogue and I'm acting and I'm a voice actor now. No, that's actually the owner of the cat. So <laughs> um, that's actually an interview. And if I do more memorials or if I do more pet portraits, I really want to get into that format and tell the owner story and the pet story rather than just giving you the B version of the story like I did with um, Desmond. I mean, that's great, but at the time I didn't record the interviews and I didn't even think about really having a YouTube channel. Um, so if I do memorials or I do pet portraits, I want to get into that uh, more one-on-one -on -one and you can hear their stories and the great times and the sad times and the, how we're going to get around all this. So. Um, that's something that's going to change. The how-tos are not going to be so how-to. Um, I am going to restructure how I was kind of relating to my Patreon page, which, okay, just in case anybody thinks I make money on this, I, I, I don't. I don't. It takes at least 30 or 40 hours a week for me to post these videos, not including the artwork, and I'm getting better. I'm getting faster at it. Um, but that's why you guys are getting such irregular content. Um, and the other thing that's going to change is, remember like the Lion King piece? Does anybody watch that? Yay? Nay? Okay, so if you watched it, thank you. Uh, but you know that's a 22 by 20, and it's a really huge, it's a huge piece. Um, and there's really small details uh, in that piece which add up when you look at it in person, but they do not add up in video, and it's just needless time. And um, I want to, looking back at it, I would do more B-roll if I still had access to those cats, of which I don't, because that's all the way out in, uh, one is in Toledo and the other one is in Washington, D.C. So I don't have access to those cats anymore, so no B-roll for you guys. Sorry. Uh, um... So we're just going to grind through that, but the rest of them, like I have people on Facebook that are asking me for a penguin tutorial, and then people that are asking me for a zebra tutorial, of which I'm kind of glad that I had fun at um, Timbavati a couple years ago with the zebras, and I really just went by myself and had fun on my cell phone. So more shaky cell phone footage! Yay! Um, <laughs> uh, with the Jasper video, we are gonna post the last one and by we I mean me because I think of myself in different formats because there's the artist and then there's the writer and then there's editing and directing um, so me myself and I are going to uh, the plan is to get this done by the 10th of December and then have the video edited and put together by no later than the 15th so hopefully by the 20th of December uh, we'll be doing the unveiling for the third chapter, and the other thing is, is that uh, if you guys are interested, and leave your comments below. I want to know if I can get Cheyenne to come preview the third episode live, and then she will get her portrait uh, right there. I like uh, Cheyenne. We're gonna get filmed anyway with your reaction, um, but. The other part of that was that the option of a Q&A with uh, Cheyenne, if any of the viewers wanted to ask her questions. About, um, it is 11.30 and I have to go to work now. So uh, I guess that will be it. Again, massive thanks for uh, all you guys that are subscribing and liking and sharing and commenting and doing all this stuff and hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell and all that jazz because I'm really really horrible about telling you guys you have to do that because I kind of assume you guys aren't sheep and I don't have to tell you to hit the like button or the, subs the, the wait the like button is down here or the subscribe button or wherever the buttons are um so that you're interacting with the channel and not clicking off of it okay so I have a little one <clears throat> Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Oh, kisses. I think that's a great way to end the video, don't you? With lots of love. Lots of love. Hello, my buddy. Hello, my buddy boy. Huh? All right, so if you're checking out this channel, 
continue to share the Jasper videos. I hope you guys are looking forward to the new format. Uh, I've got way more ideas and they're way more on ideas than uh, the last format's been, so. Are you good? Are you good? Are you good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yum, 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 yum. He wants cookies. Time for cookies! Talk to you later.